Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, our topic is about collisions. At the end of this video, learners are expected to relate impulse and momentum to collision of objects and examine effects and predict causes of collision related damages and injuries. To start this lesson, let's start first with the definition of collision. A collision is an event where momentum or kinetic energy is transferred from one object to another. Collision, also called impact in physics, the sudden, forceful coming together in direct contact of two bodies. While the total energy of a system is always conserved, the kinetic energy carried by the moving objects is not always conserved. Kinetic energy is lost during collision when forms of energy such as heat, sound, and light are produced. Energy is spent to produce damage in the system. Therefore, there are two types of collision, elastic collision and inelastic collision. An elastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy of the system remains the same. When an elastic collision occurs, the two objects bounce off each other. When the two objects completely bounce off, the collision is called perfectly elastic collision. There are three different cases of elastic collision. Refer to the illustration to further understand the cases of collision. Case 1. Motion is transferred between an object in motion and an object at rest. Case 2. Two objects approaching head-on travel at the opposite direction after collision. Case 3. Objects traveling at the same direction but with different momentum traveled in the same direction, but the faster object now has slower velocity after collision. On the other hand, inelastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy of the system changes after collision due to loss of some energy. When two objects collide and they stick together as one body and have the same velocity after collision, it is called perfectly inelastic collision. It is not a requirement for the objects to stick together to be able to have an inelastic collision. A perfectly elastic collision rarely occurs in real life because most collisions are inelastic. To summarize, elastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy remains the same after collision, while inelastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy changes after collision. What are the possible effects of collision of objects? The mass and velocity of objects in a collision determine the damages or effects. Large impact forces may cause large damages and injuries, while small impact forces may cause only dense and slight injuries. Larger vehicles will cause more damage than smaller vehicles. In this situation, if a truck and a motorcycle crashes against a wall, with the same speed, there is greater damage on the wall, where the truck crashes compared to the wall where the motorcycle crashes, because the bike and truck may have the same velocity, but the impact of collision would be largely determined by mass. If velocity is kept constant, an increase in an object's mass would also increase the momentum of the object. Hence, momentum is called as the inertia in motion. The larger is the object, the larger is the momentum for objects with the same velocity. It is difficult to stop a larger object than smaller objects. If two cars with equal mass but different velocity collided with a wall, the faster car would cause more damage. It is difficult to stop a faster object because the faster the object, the larger is its momentum provided that their masses are equal. For objects with the same mass, the impact of collision would be largely determined by velocity. Promoting safety in case of collisions. Collisions are usually observed in vehicular accidents. According to Republic Act No. 8750, it requires the mandatory use of seatbelt devices in all vehicles because wearing seatbelts promotes safety while driving. Most cars have an inflatable airbag that is activated when there is a sudden impact on a car. 
Seat belts and airbags decrease the possible injuries by increasing the time of contact between the body and steering wheel. Other safety devices installed in cars to decrease the impact of collisions are child restraint seats, pre-collision system, and safety glass. Let's recall some of the key concepts about collisions. A collision is an event where two objects exchange impulse and momentum. There are two types of collision, elastic and inelastic collision. An elastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy of the system remains the same. When the two objects completely bounce off, the collision is called perfectly elastic collision. An inelastic collision occurs when the total kinetic energy of the system does not remain the same. When the two objects collide and they stick together, the collision is called perfectly inelastic collision. The impact of collision is largely determined by mass and velocity. To lessen the impact of collisions, seat belts, airbags, and other safety devices must be installed in a vehicle. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.